I uh, started with Business Law 1 and 2 with Dr. Parker, uh, and then I had Managerial Economics. I took Business Law 1 and Business Law 2 from Dr. Parker. I had Business Law from Dr. Parker. I distinctly remember Jim, his classes, and the way he taught us. He told me that the reason he went into teaching was because he had some professor, I think, in his master's program at the University of Memphis that was just really, 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 really boring. And he thought to himself, surely you can make things more entertaining as a teacher. You don't have to bore people this much. And so he decided he would give it a try to see if it really was that hard to, you know, be entertaining. So the way he taught was he would always tell stories and he tried to make them very entertaining. He found ways to make learning fun, sometimes entertaining, sometimes ridiculous, but all it all boiled down to, um, you know, getting his point across and getting us to understand, um, you know, some aspect of business and, and, and law. The one classroom story that always kind of comes back to mind, I don't remember all of the circumstances, but it had to do with 72-hour deodorant, um, which none of us believed existed. Uh, and there was a question on one of his tests uh, regarding this particular product and uh, a friend of mine who shall remain nameless, Carl Founce, uh, he jumped up and said, but Dr. Parker, nobody could have an expectation that 72-hour deodorant was a real product. And he reaches into his back pocket and he goes, oh yeah? <laughs> What about this? And he hands Carl this 72-hour deodorant that he had kept in his desk or in his pocket just for this one pristine moment that would happen. He knew somebody would question that. And, uh, he was always prepared in that fashion. Dr. Parker really had a good sense of, of telling stories to make the material that we were supposed to be reviewing uh, make sense to us. And I can tell you, attendance was high in every class. You came, you listened, you learned and uh, that, that made a lot different than many other classes. I believe Dr. Parker is deserving of the Teaching Excellence Award because he exemplifies all of the LaSallean values. Uh, he definitely uh, exemplifies the enter to learn, leave to serve mentality, and he has uh, taught me more than, he's been more than a, a teacher to me, he's been more of a mentor. He was just an all-around great guy, caring individual, concerned about the students' well-being and their progress. And, uh, I felt like I, I wanted to meet that challenge, and I still think about him uh, and things I learned in that class today as a result of that. All of the wisdom that he has put into me, I hope I can regurgitate to my own students. Um, he's had a very profound effect on me, I know for sure. I can tell you from my standpoint, uh, when you prepare students, for going out in the real world. Uh, that's something that you, you hope every professor is doing. And I can testify that Dr. Parker was definitely that type of professor. Dr. Parker as a mentor was a great asset, almost like a, a father figure, if you will, uh, in helping me direct my path and actually finally graduating from CBU. When you have, I think when you're young and you have a parent that passes away, you you crave that relationship but you don't want a replacement and you don't want a you don't want somebody who tries to be that for you or you know pities you you just kind of need someone that you know is there in case you need some old wisdom and for me Dr. Parker has always been that it's like he just shows up when I need him. I can't think of any teacher that has had uh, as much or more impact than, than Dr. Parker has had as a well-deserved award, and I can't think of anybody who uh, would think he doesn't deserve it. Uh, he's just that kind of guy. Uh, but he has impacted my life, my wife's life, uh, and a great deal of CBU alums' lives. So I'm proud of him. And uh, it's a well-earned and deserved award. Dr. Parker, thank you for your years of dedication to teaching us. 
you're very deserving of the recognition this evening. Dr. Parker, congratulations on winning such a prestigious award. You're most deserving. I can't think of anyone else who was as deserving of this award as you are. And congratulations, we, from all of the students, we love you. Dr. Parker, just want to say congratulations on this award. Uh, well earned. You've had such an impact on me and, and my classmates' lives. Uh, we think about you often, uh, and I'm sure that you may not realize how, how much folks think of you and what they may have learned in, their, in your classes uh, over the years. Uh, we, we don't forget you've had an impact, and we do appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything you've ever done for me. It means so much to me to always know that you've always been there. The Christian Brothers University 2018 NAB Teaching Excellence Award, Dr. James Parker.